Hello and welcome back to my channel and my kitchen. My name is Harley and in this video I'm going to be doing a bit of a recipe, okay a lot of a recipe, fall inspired patch to plate vibes of a squash and carrot soup with a red onion, garlic, rosemary and tomato for catcher bread. In a video that I did a few months ago, I did a tour of my mum's like vegetable patch and the garden that we have at home and all the incredible things that she was producing. And I did kind of hint that I wanted to do like a fresh produce to meal patch to plate type video. Then I moved, so I don't live there anymore. I don't have 24 seven access to all the veggies. However, a few weeks ago, me and my best friend Eve, who is constantly being mentioned on this channel, went to Fox's Farm Produce, which is a I mean, it's a functioning farm, but they have a pumpkin patch that they run obviously every year. So we picked up, what well, you can see in the background, a few pumpkins. Eve has used her pumpkins for more of like fall aesthetic vibes. And I'm gonna use some of mine for that too, but I also wanna basically use some of the smaller ones for an actual meal. It's a fully functioning farm and it would be a waste to basically have bought all of these pumpkins and yeah, just waste them. It was such a fun day. Um, it might be a bit late this year, but 10 out of 10 would recommend it. Brought them home, washed them, and then spent like an hour or two trying to identify them all. Different pumpkins and squashes have different flavors and you can do different things with them. For example, the smaller ones, let me get them. <laughs> so, for example, this, which is quite a medium to small size um, squash, is actually called um, a snowman pumpkin. As you can tell, it's like almost white. It has exactly what you would expect inside in terms of like a large cavity with seeds and yeah, quite a fleshy pumpkin. Mm, where can I put you? Onto my babies. This one, I believe it's called an Italian striped squash. This smaller one is called a carnival squash. And I think this one, maybe both of these, maybe a bit of the Italian stripe and the carnival are gonna make up the body of our soup today. I don't remember what this one's called. We're gonna stick with these two today and we're gonna make a soup. But first things first, we need to make a vegetable broth. Now, earlier on in the week, I decided to be the kind of person who keeps vegetable scraps to make vegetable broth, which is something that I've never really done. So what we have from the freezer is just some cauliflower leaves, some carrot stumps that were just starting to go a little bit soft. And we're gonna add in a bunch of other veg. We're gonna add some brown onion. I'm basically just gonna make a really, really, really good veg broth first. At the same time, because this is quite a process, I'm gonna get started on my focaccia bread. This is because focaccia bread needs like a fair few folds as you go through the process of making it. But for the full recipe, go down into the description box. There are also some other videos of other things you can do with pumpkins. I also have another video from last year where I made pumpkin puree from a pumpkin and then turned that into a pumpkin spice latte. So if you're interested in doing that with your pumpkins this year, one step ahead of you. Okay, we're using this pan. Freezer scrap. Mushrooms, leafy greens, and a whole lot of other stuff. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like Bradley Oni. You know, Bradley Oni just makes like a lot of sounds, but then somehow produces something absolutely delicious. That is the vibe we're going for today, okay? Right. and quarter. Apparently you keep the skins in, the skins give the broth a really nice color and also just a depth of flavor. So we're gonna throw all of this, skins and all, in the pan. For more color vibes, we're gonna add some mushrooms. If you are following a more snazzy version of this recipe, it will probably be something like shiitake mushrooms or um, what they call it, porcini mushrooms. But these are mushrooms I have. We are doing this to avoid wasting the pumpkins in the first place. So I'm not gonna go out and buy a whole bunch of different mushrooms just to make this broth. Now I feel like binging with Babish. Something I did go and buy because I absolutely detest this is parsley. I bought some of this. I'm just gonna throw a few sprigs under the tap and then into my pot. We don't have very much or really anything going on by means of like a leafy green. So I'm just gonna throw in a handful of this Nero kale. This is just going in the pot, I'm gonna throw in like however many one, two, three, four, measure garlic with your heart and then throw cloves, everything, skin, everything in your pan. So this is everything, kind of having a little bit of a garbage bowl situation.
Now that our stock is on, which is probably annoyingly hissing in the background, I'm gonna start making the bread. This is gonna take like three or four half an hour turns as it proves, so that should give the stock plenty of time to get done. We're also gonna then roast some veggies for our soup. Everything should come together quite nicely at the same time, famous last words. So I've got a bunch of stuff here, some strong white bread flour, some olive oil. I like to use the Allenson's dried active yeast for this. Fresh yeast is the absolute best, but yeah, no chance of getting my hands on that. Some salt, and then I have two bowls here as well. Also gonna need some water. I'll get that in a minute. So this focaccia method is pretty simple. I'm basically just gonna activate the yeast in some water, mix that into my dough, separate from my salt, add that together. Breads are really a game of ratios and techniques rather than recipes. So I will include all the ingredients and the amount of each that I've put in the description box below. But you know, have fun with it, try something. I'm also only gonna make half a batch. So the ingredients listed below will be for double what I'm about to make. It's been a couple of hours. Um, our veg broth is completely done. I actually let it cook for an hour and a half. I haven't strained it yet, but I will do. Our bread is in its final proof. Everything's all decorated, all nice. It won't take very long to bake. It only takes around like 12 minutes to bake. The oven is preheating now. By the time that comes out of the oven, I'll need to stick the veggies in to roast the veggies, to make the soup with the veggie broth. Also a little bit of cream coconut. We are almost there, people. I got a head start on some of the veggies that are gonna be in the soup. So I've chopped up three carrots, um, half a bell pepper, and three sticks of celery. So now I'm gonna chop up my squashes, get them in here, and also, probably like a whole bulb of garlic. Then I'm gonna cover them with foil and then bake them for probably about 45 minutes. I'm covering them with foil because I don't want any crispy bits because I need to blend this baby. Um, no, 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 wrong, 
wrong. Should definitely, should definitely cut the, the thing off. Flat surface, yes. Oh, she's soft. Oh. So this little baby is the carnival squash. I have done a poor job of cutting that equally, but as you can see, we've got a little seedy cavity in there. So I'm just gonna take a spoon and scoop all of that out. This thing is so slippery. this is the very last time you're gonna see me before I actually have food with me. But I strained out all the vegetables from the veg dog and ended up with this massive bowl of veg dog. This is the only bowl I had that could take it all that wasn't the biggest pan I have. I also have prepared a little bit of cream coconut here because I really, really like coconut in my soup. Blend up all of the veggies and then we're done. Okay, so after like a bazillion hours, we have our meal. I took a little taste of this as I was going along to like season, etc. I added like quite a lot of black pepper towards the end. I also threw in a scotch bonnet pepper, which I pierced just as it was warming through for the last maybe like 10 minutes or so. That is scrumptious. The seeds on the top and the little bit of sesame oil Oh, okay, that's a winner, okay, okay. I'm gonna act like this is the first time I'm eating this bread like I didn't already eat my piece of it, but you know, it's, it's the combination that matters, so. This is honestly so, so lovely. The cream coconut definitely brings it together. Makes it super, super creamy, super, super nice. So every, everything is slapping. Everything. Mmm. As thrilling as it must be to watch me eat this, I think I'll end this video here. This is so, so yum. The recipe for everything is in the description. Pumpkins and squashes and marrows and things are not just like around Halloween or fall. And they're gonna be in season all the way through. This would make such a banging like Christmas starter. If you're doing Christmas dinner, if you're not doing Christmas dinner, if you're just hosting, if you, if you want it for yourself. Like this made quite a lot. So I'm probably gonna put some in the fridge for tomorrow and then put some in the freezer for probably next week. I also have about three cups of the veg stock left. So again, like this, this is a bountiful, bountiful meal. I'm so thrilled. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because this video has brought me nothing but joy to make. And I'll make more of them for you if you like them. I'm sure you do. Mmm.